number one thing uh, that you need to know is that you're not supposed to just jump in into any random projects, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just because you think it's cool, just because you see a lot of influencers uh, talking about it, uh, you see uh, ads and the whole nine yards and not jump into every single project because over time, and Gary Vee said this, like 99% of all NFT projects are going to crash, are going to go to zero, and you're going to be fucked. Mm -hmm. Because if no one wants to buy your NFT, your NFT is worth zero dollars. Just like with any other crypto project that started and they don't do shit, no one wants to buy it, it's worth zero, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, what gives its value? What gives an NFT value? So you were asking first about the apes. Why are people buying the board ape jack club? So the reason why people are buying to this apes is not because they're cool, right? It's because there's a big community behind it, okay? For example, that's going on with the board, with the board ape jack club, with the board ape jack club, and also with crypto farms, right? There's big communities behind it. Uh, they do community events. They do huge yacht parties with this like big influencers and rappers and artists. So that's huge when you think you can just own one of these and it's like a membership to participate in any big event with this high ticket network individuals. That's number one. Uh, besides that, who's behind the project? Like Gary Vee was the one pumping the whole crypto punks, right? He got in a call with 30 influencers like Logan Paul, like a bunch of big people. And he just freaking pumped this thing because if Gary V is behind it, people know that it is not going to go down in value, but he's going to keep pushing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who's behind it? What's the community behind it? And bro, it's cool because, uh, and I, I like this term, I heard it from a YouTuber. Uh, Gary V is an influencer for influencers. When I heard that, I was like mind blown. So yeah. whatever project he's in, I'm in. And how a new project that he's, he's backing it up that I'm in uh, super early. Uh, I'm going to give you the name at the end. Just remind me because this is so early and Gary V is one of the heads behind the project. So I'll be there as well. Besides, besides the community, besides who's behind it, uh, what adds value to an NFT? It's utility. So for example, when I, fought, when I bought my first uh, Disney drop, I remember it was a Wally. I got it for like $60 on a drop and it granted me access to a Disney plus membership. So that's utility. Ah. That's something that, that, that's something that people like um, the VV app. They came out with a drop for the uh, zero, uh, zero oh seven movie. Double oh seven. Uh, yeah. No, no, no time to die. Uh. So they came out with a drop and in that drop, they sold an NFT that granted you seven tickets for the movie theater. So it's insane how many uh, different type of utility they can get to an NFT. For my project that I'm building, it's going to have utility because once you buy the NFT, you get immediate access to the training and also you get free access to every single future NFT event that NFT Century holds. So when you look at it like that, it's going to keep holding its value and more people are going to uh, want to still buy it and hold it because they don't want to sell it because when I do an event, they don't want to pay a thousand dollars extra to go to the event if they're already holding my NFT, and they and they and they just show out of the door. So, community, who's behind it? Utility, mint, numbers, and scarcity. How scarce is the NFT that you're buying? If there's a hundred thousand editions of an NFT, and there's another NFT that has only eight hundred and eighty-eight editions, which is going to be more valuable? Okay. okay. Aside, aside from the AP, I get it. You may come out with a huge IP like Disney and do 100,000 editions, but if a random artist independent they come out with an NFT that has 50 editions, trust me, if they do a good job, that's going to have more value. It's more scarce, which means that, uh, number one, the price can be manipulated a little more because a whale can come in, buy most of them, buy most of them and raise the floor price, all right? Yeah. And they cannot do that with 100,000 editions uh, NFT. Yeah. So, uh, how many editions yeah. there are? How scarce uh, it is? And I'm gonna give you a quick sample right now. I don't know if you saw the the that cat Bronson I posted it on uh, on my Twitter account. It's an NFT I bought a little while back. It's a cat with like red eye, red eye. Oh yes, yeah. yes, okay. I got in a call a little while back. I want to say about a month ago with the YouTuber. I reached out to him. I said, "Yo, let's get in a call. Uh, let's chat. Super cool guy." And he told me this. He told me, "Hey." Just buy this cat. Don't ask me anything. 
forget about it. Just buy this cat, go to the floor price, buy the lowest bin, just buy it and don't ask me any, bro, I didn't ask any questions. Like, yo, you tell me to buy it, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. That was my biggest purchase back then. I never had spent so much money on NFT. I paid a thousand three hundred bucks for that NFT. Today is worth like five k, five point two k, in like in like in like a month. Uh, he saw my post on Instagram as I told you, and I like, yeah man for sure. Uh, we're actually getting on a call today. We're gonna do a call him and I today. We're gonna break down some content for uh, for YouTube. But the reason why this cat went up so much in value, uh, besides the artist, is a big independent artist from LA. But also, it only has 800 editions. As most of the collectibles in the app, they're going to see they have thousands of editions. So the lower the edition size, the better it's going to be. Another reason, uh, and especially now because you're getting into VV, it's going to be your first NFT platform to buy uh, NFTs at. Another reason why this independent artist NFTs are going open price is because most likely independent artist NFTs are going to be the first one to be uh, like able to be taken out from the vv and be sold on ETH marketplaces like immutable x like right now all the nfts inside vv they're already minted under the ethereum blockchain so in a matter of i want to say days maybe weeks you can already take them out you can already take out your nfts from vv and sell them and sell them uh not in open seas i don't think uh, i don't think open seas is, is available right now but on other marketplaces on that have VV. Yeah. And based on what the researchers have done and based on what the whole community thinks, the first NFT to be able to take to be able to be taken out from VV and sold into these marketplaces are gonna be independent artists. Right? Because Disney, uh, it's gonna take a little longer for them to just let you take uh, their IP out of VV and be sold somewhere else. Okay. So independent artists are gonna be the first ones. So a lot of people are attacking this independent artist NFTs like there's no tomorrow. And just ask me at the end, I'm gonna give you a few examples or actually inside the chat, inside a private community where it says my NFT collections, you see everything I own. Uh, if you would have been there about 10 days ago, a lot of people have been there for, I, I wanna say about a little more, a little, little bit over 10 days. If they bought exactly what I had, they will be heavily in profits right now. And some of them are expensive, but some of them are not. Like, the the one that I posted that you reached out to me about, the Captain American, it's a first edition. It's a first ever appearance of Captain American in NFT format. So even if there's 10, 20,000 editions in the next 20 years putting out, that is always going to be the first ever appearance. It's called FA. Okay? So it's going to have a lot of value. And it was selling the other day for 40 bucks. Today is at 100 bucks already. Jesus. Okay? And this is a this is a this is one that has like thirty thousand editions, but it's an F eight. It's a it's a first appearance. It's Captain America is one of the most popular superheroes. So even though it has thirty twenty eight thousand editions, it's still gonna go it's still gonna go up in price. Uh -huh. Thinking five hundred bucks. My 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 target is for selling some of those. It's gonna be five hundred bucks, but uh, you never know. So yeah, man. Uh, IP intellectual property. Who's behind it? Uh, if it's, if it's Disney, Marvel, DC, you know, like they're not going to just ghost on you and it's not like one of these pump and dump projects, right? And another cool thing about IP is that Disney, Marvel, and all these people, they literally can create out of thin air utility to an NFT. Literally, Disney can say tomorrow, hey, if you hold the full set of Mickey Mouse first appearance, we're going to give you free entrance to the main uh, theme parks. Yeah. They're, they're not going to hold any money. These NFTs are selling for thousands of dollars. And every time you sell or buy them, they're making 8.5%. Jesus. So they they are they are incented to add utility to the NFT. So as of right now, uh, most of my NFTs are inside VV, and most of them are VIPs NFT or independent artists. Okay? Why? Because... Uh, you and I come from the same place. We're not millionaires. We don't have money to just be goofing around. So I try to put my money where it where, where faces. Okay. So did that, did that explain more or less what I should do as an NFT? It did. It, it, it explained a lot, actually, very well. The, I do have questions, though. Yeah, go ahead. The community. I hear that's, that that's always probably, that's probably the biggest, if, the biggest factor behind most 
crypto pumps, anything that creates value. It's the community. Where is it that you find that community? How do you uh, dissect? Okay, because this is how I do it. With crypto gaming, usually I see a uh, coin pump, right? It's uh, let's say AVAX, for example. AVAX, A has whatever the actual utility of AVAX is. What I do is I go down the list and I look for similar projects like AVAX because I know that once AVAX is done, that's where the community is at the moment. That they're gonna be following that, that type of utility and that type of token. So the next token I buy is gonna pump, blah, blah. How do you find the community for NFTs? So basically, right now, the community that I follow the most is called Vivi, which is inside the app. And in the last few months, like the growth that it has is crazy. When I started, there was only one YouTuber talking about Vivi, okay? And now there's hundreds of YouTubers talking about Vivi, uh, getting on events like I did in my house, uh, in, the, in the Twitter space. It's huge. Most of the people that I'm following right now, you can go ahead to my Twitter account and follow them. They're all talking about Vivi. And when there is a new project, like the one that Gary is backing up, they also start talking about it, okay? Why? Because it's NFTs, uh, it's the, the, the community in general. And I think it's kind of similar to where you were saying that you follow a project and then you see all different projects that are, that are coming behind it. And they did the same thing here. Like I started with Vivi, uh, now I'm into Recur, which, the, which I found out thanks to Vivi influencers. And thanks to the video community, because they're already talking about it. So that's how you find uh, new communities and new upcoming projects. 